These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <coughs> All right, well, what's up, everybody? It's Graham Green back here, and today I think I'm doing my review for this dorky pod that's not dorky. It's it, it I like it. I don't think it's dorky, but it is actually objective dorky. I just don't think it's dorky, but if I'm really real with myself, uh, it, uh, it's kind of dorky. What I'm talking about is the Smoant Charon Racer, and it is designed and styled after, you know, like a cafe racer style motorcycle. It's kind of neat, it's kind of dorky, but I like it. Most of all, I like when I take a drag more than the animations on the screen, which are fine on this very tiny, tiny, tiny little screen. I do like that this light turns on, like it's a tail lamp, like it's a brake light. Get out of here, that's cool. This pod is sort of reaching the end of its life now. We're creeping up on, hang on, 1,122 puffs. I spent about three to 400 puffs on the 0.4 coil, and then I switched to the 0.6 coil, and the 1,122 puffs are on this 0.6 coil. The flavor has been really, truly stellar up until I got to that right at about that 1,000 mark. Right at 1,000, I feel like I started hate vaping this, which is to say I kept filling it up despite the flavor not being good, and I think right now I'm actually hate vaping it. I've only ever used it in smart mode. I've only ever used their recommended wattage, but it does have a full menu. Two clicks on the button gets me into the menu. A long press, I can change the mode from smart to power. I can change the theme. There's three different themes. There's a motorcycle theme. There's a pink Vespa theme. There's just sort of this generic rainbow theme that I've been using just because, you know, I don't, I like motorcycles. I've never owned a motorcycle. I've always wanted to own a motorcycle, but there was a scare campaign when I was a kid and I saw a commercial called Human Crayon and that legitimately scared me away from motorcycles. I know. You can light me up in the comments all you want. The last things to do in the menu is clear the puff counter and control whether this light goes on or off when I take a drag and it's always on. The screen itself is fine. It's less than an inch tall and they've tried to pack in a lot of information on there. I've got the, you know, the percentage across the top. I got a big wattage. The puff counter is tiny and I can't just see my puffs just glancing at it. Look, it is tiny and really hard to read. I'm nearsighted, so I see up close better. I should be able to read this better, but I am also dyslexic, especially with numbers. So sometimes numbers together, especially microscopic little digital numbers close together, kind of just look like gibberish to me. So it is really tiny, but I guess some of that's on me. It's nice to see a new product from Smoant. It's nice to see like a high quality pod from Smoant. I'm sick of having like the Cali burns and the crosses constantly in my top five, constantly in the Hall of Fame. I want more competitors for them. So I'm rooting for Smoant. I got a lot of really flavorful puffs out of this device. I got some really nice 1100 mAh battery life out of this device. I think with the coil head performance and life included, with the tiny screen included, and with the interesting styling included, I think the Smoant Charon Racer is going to land pretty comfortably at about seven and a half banana stickers. And I'm not dinging it because it has a small screen. That part doesn't bother me. It's just the way that they utilize the space that doesn't make much sense. I also really dislike that I can't lock this fire button. I can only lock the whole thing. Four clicks lets me lock the fire button, but it also locks the auto draw. I like that it feels like Smoant is like, you know, out to contend with some of these bigger, more popular pods. They got a slick little pod with some good performing coil heads and lastly leaking keeping my play area clean i've actually seen literally none not even a speck of liquid anywhere where it's not supposed to be on the underside of the pod or in here or otherwise and i think hang on yes this is rambling i can't tell you where to get these or how much they cost but i would be surprised to see them for more than 45 
dollars. And if you're someone who's watching this and you still smoke combustible cigarettes, hi. It's time to switch. I, I believe in you. And literally all of the science says you should. It's never been easier. There's a world of safer nicotine products out on the market in the description of this video. I'm going to put links to just science and just education. This has been a grim green video, you know? Let's stay cigarette smoke free literally every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and then I'm uh, just going to smoke, so... Even though I'm hate vaping this, the flavor still isn't like objectionable. It's not that bad. In a pinch, I could probably put three or 400 more puffs on here.